Hello friends, welcome to yet another captivating video of Wisdom Zone. This is Shubro and friends, in today's video, I am gonna give you some extremely important idioms for IELTS speaking and writing. So it is my earnest request to all the viewers who are preparing for IELTS, please watch this video carefully to learn all the important idioms I'm gonna discuss for your IELTS examination. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do not wait immediately go ahead and subscribe to Wisdom Zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So friends, welcome back once again to this fascinating video on idioms for IELTS speaking and writing. And as I have promised, in today's video, I'm going to discuss some extremely useful idioms for your IELTS speaking and writing. And you can incorporate all these important idioms in your IELTS speaking test and writing test. And you can incorporate them in your everyday English conversation. So friends, before I go ahead, let me quickly remind all of you that I have provided some more videos on IELTS preparation, IELTS speaking, IELTS vocabulary in the description. So if you are preparing for IELTS, do not forget to check the links given in the description so without further ado let's get started with today's idioms for IELTS speaking and writing so friends the first important idiom i'm gonna discuss for IELTS speaking and writing is on top of the world let me repeat once again on top of the world it can be effectively used in your speaking as well as writing so it means very happy so you can use this when you're participating in the speaking test Instead of saying that I was very happy, you can use this wonderful idiom and say on top of the world. So let me show you how to use it. I was feeling on top of the world. That means I was very happy. So like this way, you can use this and use it in any sentence in speaking test as well as you can use it in your writing. So up next, we are going to see the second idiom for I speaking and writing that is out of the blue. Let me repeat this out of the blue. It means something that happened suddenly. That's called out of the blue. Something happened unexpectedly or suddenly that's called out of the blue again it's a very useful one for your speaking as well as writing you can incorporate it in your speaking test especially when you are answering long questions in part 3 so as you see the example I got the job offer out of the blue that means suddenly I got it unexpectedly up next we are going to straight away dive into the third important idiom for IELTS speaking and writing that is child's play let me repeat it's child's play it means something that is very easy to do that's called child's play so you can incorporate it in your writing as well as speaking as you see how to use it learning English is a child's play for Sam that means learning English is very easy for Sam I'm quite sure it's clear up next we are going to turn our attention to the fourth one that is barking up the wrong tree so the fourth important idiom for IELTS preparation is barking up the wrong tree so let me tell you it means to follow the wrong course of action because your idea about something is incorrect so you follow a wrong course of action or wrong path you take that's called barking up the wrong tree so obviously you can use it in your speaking and sound quite proficient in your speaking test as you see the example I soon realized that I was barking up the wrong tree that means I realized that I took a wrong course wrong course of action or wrong path I'm quite sure it's clear so up next we are going to straight away dive into the fifth important idiom for IELTS speaking and writing that is a heavy heart let me repeat once again it's a heavy heart it means a feeling of unhappiness a slight sadness is called a heavy heart very useful one so let me show you how to use it with a heavy heart I left my hometown that means with a feeling of sadness melancholy perhaps I left my hometown like this way you can use it beautifully and get good score and good bag up next we are going to turn our attention to the sixth one that is once in a blue moon Again, a very useful idiom for IELTS speaking and writing. It means something that happens very rarely. Occasionally, that's called once in a blue moon. So you can use it in this way. As you see the example, she calls me once in a blue moon. So I'm quite sure it's clear. Up next, we are going to turn our attention to the seventh one that is take a rain check. It means to refuse an offer or invitation politely or say that you would like to accept it later. So that's called to take a rain check. It means you refuse an offer or invitation very politely. Maybe you would accept it later. So that time you say take a rain check. So let me show you how to use this wonderful idiom. I asked her to go out for a cup of coffee, but she decided to take a rain check on it. So I offered her to go out for a cup of coffee, but declined my invitation politely. And she insisted that she would go later. And she did that politely. And that's why this idiom is used that she decided to take a rain check on it. 
So friends, up next we are going to turn our attention to the last idiom for eyes speaking and writing is no wonder. Let me repeat, it's no wonder. It means it is not surprising. Something which is not surprising that time is a no wonder. It's a beautiful one. It's a very useful one for eyes speaking especially and you can incorporate it in your writing also. So let me show you how to use it. No wonder your boss was angry as you have committed a serious mistake. That means it was not quite surprising that your boss was angry as you have committed a serious mistake. I'm quite sure it's clear. So friends, today I gave you some extremely useful idioms for IELTS speaking as well as writing. Try to incorporate them in your IELTS preparation and use them in your IELTS speaking and writing test. Get a good band and these are going to help you to get a good score and good band. So I'm quite sure you have also liked this video like my other videos. So it is my earnest request to all of you. Please go through the examples, try to make sentences and comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please do not wait. Immediately go ahead and subscribe to Islam Zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification. So stay tuned for further informative videos friends and do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to Islam Zone.